So sometimes for the merit and excellence level questions, um, you might combine this together with binomial. So as an example, Anna that we just looked at um, babysits five evenings in March. Find the probability that she babysits between 100 and 120 minutes for less than three of these evenings. So that's the probability that she's between 100 and 120 minutes. And this is out of the uniform, so from uniform. So that's the probability for one night between the 100 and 120 minutes. And we calculated that in the last example, going through all this, and we found that our probability was going to be 0 0.4. So we know for one night, she's got a probability of 0 0.4 to babysit between 100 and 120 minutes. Now here's the catch, we're looking at five nights. So for five nights, we can think that each night she's got a probability of 0 0.4, assuming that it's constant for all nights. The number of trials total is going to be five, and we're looking for um, less than three. So this is going to be binomial, because we either have she's between 100 and 120 minutes or she's not, our two outcomes. The probability is constant the whole way through. We assume that it's independent, that babysitting one night won't have an effect on the babysitting the following night. And so um, if we want to do this, we're going to use our binomial, and this is going to be a range, so BC, and we're looking at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So of the five evenings that she babysits, less than three of these evenings between those values, so less than three, that's that group there, my dot's on two. So this is always x in p. So bc is going to be equal to, sorry, not equal to, as we're going to use two out of five with a probability of 0 0.4. And if we do that into our binomial distribution, Remember, you want that on variable. And we've got 2 out of 5 with 0 0.4 as the probability. That's going to be equal to 0 0.6826. So that's our final answer there. The fact that G will babysit between 100 and 120 minutes for less than five of these evenings that she babysits them. And the rest of the time, she'll either be less than that or more than that in terms of her minutes. So that's again a combination between binomial and um, uniform. So just another example at achieved if you're interested for it, otherwise just skip on and get to the work. Um, coffee machine dispenses coffee into cups. It's controlled electron electronically to randomly cut off the flow between 180 and 190. So I know my max and my min, 180 and 190. Find the probability that the machine dispenses less than this. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do is find my height. And that's going to be 1 over 190 minus 180. 1 over 10 is equal to 0 0.1. And for A, we're looking at less than 188. So that's that area there. 188. So my probability is going to be the height times the width. In this case, the height is 0 0.1. And the width, well, that's between 188 and 180, which is 8. So 0 0.1, oops, times 8 give you 0 0.8. So the probability that we get um, a value less than 188 is that, I guess. If you want to, we could probably be 188 closer to 90, because it is actually closer to 90. That's the area for that rectangle there. It is going to be 0 0.8. And the next question, what's the probability between 182 and 186? So that's 182 and 186. I need to find this area in here. Again, my height still the same. So I'm going to have 0 0.1 times the width, but in this case is going to be 4, 186 minus 182. So 
So 0 0.1 times 4 equals 0 0.4. That's going to be the probability for those ones, for that area there. And the probability that it's exactly 184, well, 184 exactly. This is actually a trick question. Probability is equal to 0. Can't be exact because this is continuous data. So that's exactly how you would answer it. Cannot be exact, it'll be zero because this is continuous. So there's another quick example for you. Um, helps to draw up your sketch so you can get your values in there. And yeah, get started on these and see how you go.